you know, I had an agenda that I wanted to uh, follow as far as making uh, videos looking forward, but I came across uh, this information and it supersedes uh, the agenda that I have, which I will follow through on. People in various cities across this country are pissed off. And it may or may not be widely reported, but a bunch of cities had protests last night against Donald Trump. Now, I'm going to play this uh, clip from um, MSNBC, and I want you to uh, see and listen to the people, and then I'm going to come back and make my commentary. Oakland, Chicago, LA, and Boston as protesters shut down highways, burned the president-elect in effigy, and chatted anti-Trump slogans. Here in Gotham City, thousands marched to Trump Tower to show their discontent with the nation's decision. Those demonstrations picked up again today in San Francisco and elsewhere in the country. We sent our team out to ask the protesters here in New York what they hope to achieve. <coughs> what are you hoping to come out of this rally? Uh, solidarity with others. Uh, show everyone uh, that in a democracy, uh, we get our, uh, our opinions uh, count too. I'm hoping with social media and everything we have at our fingertips these days, that things like this will make the world see that we do not want this president. This is not our president. I'm hoping for people to see this, see that people are upset about his policies, about what he wants to do to this country, and will get up and join us. Yesterday, devastated, angry, upset. Today, we're coming together in an expression of rage. I hope that he get impeached, to be honest. We want people to organize, to pay attention to local elections, and to do everything they can in the next four years to stop the harm that's going to happen. I don't know what else to do except for make my voice heard and get the voice out and, and make sure people know that this is not what we want. Now, other than that black young lady, the majority of the people that uh, you saw on camera, and obviously the people out in the field and the editors, uh, they basically will show you uh, what they want. That's, uh, that's what uh, producers do. But the majority of them that are on camera last night and today, they were all millennials. All right, so the cities that are of note that held protests are San Francisco, New York City, Chicago, Los Angeles, Boston, Seattle, Portland, Oregon, St. Paul, Minnesota, Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, and Oakland. There were a lot of other cities that also held protests, but these are the protests that were most notable. Why did people feel the need to do this? And why was this so widely reported? Well, you have to ask mainstream media about that one. But I just want to let you know that if you went back eight years in cities like Louisville, Kentucky, and Columbia, South Carolina, and various other locations, a uh, couple of them in Texas, the same thing happened. The difference was that mainstream media didn't publicize it. They didn't show pictures of this stuff. They focused on the American, quote unquote, enlightenment and the start of the quote unquote post-racial era. Now we all know that that was a lie based on the events of the past eight years. And again, in my opinion, what do all of the protests have in common? Millennials. So my question to millennials is, why didn't you get up and check out your fellow millennials 
get them up off their asses in states like Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Ohio, North Carolina, etc., to vote. Just like uh, Brexit in the UK, it's too late now. Well, actually, in the case of Brexit, it may not be too late. Their House of Commons has the vote on it to confirm it, and then they will uh, issue the notification of their intent to uh, leave the um, European Union. Now, back to the protests, or even before that. You need to know that several universities across the country also held protests. Schools across this nation are creating quote-unquote safe zones for immigrants, undocumented Hispanics, Asians, LGBT people, and various other groups. Schools are also currently offering support teams of guidance counselors, clinicians, and nurses. Why is that? The answer is people are afraid. There is a tremendous fear factor that has been created by the results of this election. There is a real reason for this fear, and it's not just Donald Trump being elected. As I stated, there is real fear in this country. Hispanics are starting to feel it. Even the ones that didn't support Clinton, they're fearful. Muslims are definitely becoming fearful because they don't know what the hell is going on. <coughs> Excuse me. About the only group that isn't all that fearful are black people. Now, why is that? The answer is because we as a people have been down this road twice before. We went down this road post-Reconstruction and we went down this road again post the 1960 Civil Rights Acts. We faced backlashes, white backlash, both times, so we know which way the wind is blowing, and we know what we need to do. For those of us with foresight, we knew this was coming. Either way, we knew this was coming. But now, you got the LGBT people, and they're getting ready to get their moment. A friend of mine would add a word to that, but uh, I'm just going to say moment. Why is that? Because Donald Trump is going to be able to place one, if not three, Supreme Court justices on the bench. And more than likely, they can kiss gay marriage goodbye. Mike Pence obviously was a major proponent against LGBT rights, and he got his butt kicked in Indiana. He got a backlash, so he had to back away from it. But he has publicly stated his position as far as gays and lesbians are concerned. You know, this dumbass is still into anti-gay uh, uh, therapy in order to cure gayness. I shake my head on that one. Muslims and Hindus are going to be targeted just like black people. The Hindus are going to be targeted because a lot of white people just don't know the difference, to be honest with you. But I said all that, why? Well, what's also not being publicized is that there has been a rash of racist attacks all over America since Donald Trump won his election. They 
the one that uh, was spoken about on uh, TV occurred in all places the New York Stock Exchange. Now that wasn't really racist, but anytime you have a bunch of people yelling about Hillary Clinton to put her in jail, to lock her up across the New York Stock Exchange, you tell me where civility went. But more importantly, there have been reports, several reports as a matter of fact, of people yelling, hang Obama. And online commentators have been spewing steady streams of racist, sexist, anti-Semite messages on YouTube. Any, everything from Hillary talking bad about Hillary Clinton to going after the Jews in Congress. Now, Donald Trump got out there and I guess did whatever he had to do when he gave uh, his victory speech, but apparently a bunch of his white supremacist buddies uh, didn't get the message. Self-identified Trump supporters are harassing minorities and calling for more organized white supremacy. At Wellesley College, which is near Boston, two men from a neighboring college drove around the Wellesley campus flying a Trump flag from their pickup truck. And when they got done, they pulled up in front of a house for students of African descent, not African Americans, these were Africans, okay? And they started screaming and jeering at them, screaming Trump, 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 and make America great again. When one student asked them to leave, they spit in her direction. In Utah, Utah, Mormon country, there are reports of Latin students Latino students being bullied at their elementary and uh, middle school. One student who was interviewed on a local Fox News channel stated that she was told, and I quote, you wetbacks need to go back to Mexico. In Minnesota, Racial slurs were scrawled at a high, local high school. Now, um, I normally don't use this word, but um, in this particular case, I'm um, just the reading what was written. What was written was, fuck niggers, hashtag, fuck all porch monkeys, hashtag, whites only, hashtag, white America, hashtag Trump, Trump, Trump. And then the word blacks uh, circled with a big X across it. Now for uh, you Muslims, a University of Louisiana student wearing a hijab was physically assaulted by two white men, one wearing a Trump hat who ripped off her hijab and stole her wallet. See, and a lot of these attacks are done to women, okay? So these white males get their hard-ons by yelling and screaming racial epithets and attacking women of color, Muslim women, Hispanic women, black women. These guys have no balls because if they were to face up to a black man, and especially here in Texas, their asses would be shot. No ifs, ands, or buts. For you gay people, a gay couple in Lexington, Kentucky found a note on their car. 
The note stated, can't wait until your marriage is overturned by a real president. Gay families equal burn in hell, Trump 2016. For those of you who think that uh, the Ku Klux Klan is uh, dead or dying, no, I don't think so. The Ku Klux Klan white supremacist group is openly canvassing for new members in Birmingham, Alabama, where flyers were scattered in driveways on the morning after the election, a local NBC affiliate reported. Get off the fence, Whitey, and join the only group that has ever stood for the white men, they read, Black radicals have reverted back to savages and more Muslims arrive daily. The local leader of the KKK group confirmed that they were all real. We must hold Trump's promises close and continue to make damn sure he follows through. People are also sharing individual instances of harassment from people they thought were friends and allies. One Afghan immigrant from Nashville, Tennessee said her former neighbor and her mother's best friend for 10 years sent her a message telling her to go back to where she came from. Trump supporters, meanwhile, are now openly vowing to rid the U.S. of non-whites referred to as MUDs in America entirely. People, well, a person tweeted, I agree building the wall and deporting MUDs is going to be some satisfying work. That was uh, tweeted out by uh, Monty Draxel. Now, the most troubling part for me is that there was a high school, and I believe it was in, I'm trying to think. I think it was uh, South Dakota, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was South Dakota. And a bunch of uh, Native Americans uh, were attending um, a hockey game. I believe it was a high school hockey, hockey game. The Native Americans, most of them were girls, uh, ranged from the age of six to 10. The crowd turned on them and started yelling racial slurs at them to the point that they made all of these little kids cry. Now that took real, real courage, but that's not the only instance. I believe it. this occurred in Minnesota. I believe, yeah, I believe it was Minnesota at a middle school. During lunch yesterday, a crowd of white people didn't physically assault a bunch of uh, Latino, well, Latina girls, uh, Latina, that is girls. And they started yelling, go back to Mexico. This, my friends, is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. Donald Trump has turned all of these white supremacists loose. He's given them shade, and now they're coming out from undercover into the daylight. They're puffing their chest out, and they're proclaiming exactly where they're coming from. If you guys thought that uh, this was gonna be easy, you got another thing coming. There is, in my opinion, gonna be a real problem brewing here. And for my people, we need to get smart, we need to organize, and we need to obtain the means to defend ourselves when necessary. I cannot, I cannot place too much emphasis on that. If you have the ability, the legal ability, to obtain the means to defend yourself when necessary, I absolutely urge you to do so. If you are to go out 
and get training. There are a lot of places that you can go to obtain training. If you have a member in your family who is former military or even current military, seek them out. That is probably the cheapest way to go as far as training is concerned. If you are not that fortunate, I suggest that you go online and look for local firearm training classes. They are not that expensive. As far as acquiring a firearm, brand new might be a bit expensive. Go to your local gun shows. Firearms are cheaper there. Now again, they're used and you get what you pay for, but for the most part, you should be able to obtain a working firearm. Someone told me this a long time ago. It's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. They also said that it's better to be judged by 12 than carried out by 6. Okay. So as far as uh, this is concerned, again, I'm back to the, my initial uh, statement. People are upset about this election. There's not a damn thing that we can do about it at this point. We need to grit our teeth. We need to prepare. And we need to tell all of those people who claim that uh, they wanted to make a protest vote by uh, voting for uh, the third party candidates, or they believe that voting uh, doesn't matter. Every last one of them needs to keep their mouths shut when stuff like this goes down because they abrogated their right to say anything if they didn't exercise their right to vote to stop this from happening. In case you thought I was joking about uh, the white supremacists uh, coming out of the woodwork, I'm going to add this uh, particular uh, piece to uh, you know the video. And in particular, uh, Donald Trump today uh, added back to his web page uh, this particular piece. An elect Trump staff today restoring a page on his campaign website calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States, which had temporarily disappeared over what Trump's staff now says was a technical glitch. All right, so this is Donald Trump uh, being inclusive. He's right back. He's, he's elected and he's right back uh, to his uh, calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. Okay. Yeah, he's really changed a whole lot. They flipped this puppy right back on today. Today. So there's no wonder uh, that the following is going down. As anti-Trump protests raged for the second straight day, there were numerous signs the country's most hate-filled people may feel emboldened in the wake of Trump's victory. The Ku Klux Klan announcing plans for a victory parade in North Carolina, the same state where overnight someone spray-painted the words Black Lives Don't Matter and Neither Does Your Votes. In Philadelphia, a black woman's SUV spray-painted with the phrases Trump Rules and Black Bitch. In the same city, a swastika and Trump reference appearing on an abandoned storefront in western New York. Another swastika with the words, make America white again. In California, a Muslim student telling police she was followed by two men who made comments about Trump and Muslims before robbing her. In Pennsylvania, high school students holding a Trump sign yelling white power. Speaking. All right, so if you thought that I was making that stuff up, now here's the actual physical evidence of what I'm talking about. 
And if you're having trouble reading it, I'll read it for you. It says, two students at a Pennsylvania high school, Pennsylvania now, okay, started the first school day after the election by carrying a Donald Trump sign and calling out white power in the halls. Renee Mazzanetti, a spokeswoman for York County School of Technology in York, Pennsylvania, confirmed a video showing the unidentified students that had been circulating on social media. Administrators immediately squelched the incident and disciplined the students, Mezzanetti said. The other students were sent to their classes and no other incidents have taken place since then, the spokeswoman said. The school resource officer is also involved. A phone call went out to parents Wednesday morning to let them know the administration is dealing with the situation and that the school is safe. Oh, really? The school is safe. But those uh, two students felt empowered enough to go out there and do that. See, Donald Trump's uh, racist rhetoric, together with uh, the white supremacists that, uh, are pumping, that did pump up his campaign, these guys believe that now they pretty much are going to have carte blanche to do whatever the hell they want. And again, I'm just adding this piece just for those who claim that uh, we're making stuff up.